who are neighbors. Some of you knew the child. His name, Alim Mikhail Jibreel, six years old. And unfortunately, a very, very tragic incident happened this morning, which you have all heard about. And we just gathered here today as neighbors, as local community, to give each other support and to let the family know, let the neighbors know that we're here for you. From an Islamic perspective, we can only say what the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said. Once when his grandchild was dying, he said, Inna lillahi ma akhada, walahu ma a'ata, wa kullu shayin indahu bi ajalim musamma. Verily belongs to Allah that which He has taken, and verily belongs to Allah that which He has given. And everything comes into this world with a fixed time. And this was his time, unfortunately. And when his son was dying, that was when his grandchild was dying. And when his son was dying, he said that Al Ainu Tadma, in Al Aina Tadma, that the eyes shed tears and the heart is grieving. But we will not say anything with our tongues that displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So with these words, we remember how we should react when a death happens. We say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Verily, we all belong to God. And we will all return to God. And we ourselves will return to God. And anyone who does know the family, Give them space, support them when they need support, but give them space when they need space. This is totally tragic, totally traumatic. When it's time for grieving, we grieve. When it's time for the funeral, try and give support, but give them space. And I know that there is a lot of anger around some of the authorities, but there is a time for the anger. Let's park that. Let the family grieve, support each other. And we finish uh, with a recitation of Surah Fatiha. And then I'll ask our colleagues to speak as well. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين